To the fifth episode of the Figma Best Practices series. On the last episode, we saw how we can make a pattern component consisting of smaller individual components to make up for a card post like the one in Instagram. As always, I would recommend you to go to my channel and make sure that you catch up with the previous episodes before you proceed with this one. This episode is going to be about how to make a navigation bar like the one on Instagram. And finally, let's begin with this episode. You will see on this episode how making the navigation bar is more or less following techniques that we've already learned from previous episodes. So let's start. First, we want to make sure that we have different types of icons and you will see because Instagram, for example, follows the philosophy of showing different states of selected icons within the actual navigation bar to show which one we are currently on. So we now know from previous episodes, from the first episode to be exact, that we have the field state of most of the icons. So what we want to do is go back to the Figma community, find the file that we were at before. So in this case, to show you, we you can be on the community here and then you can just search for material UI just to remind you material UI icons. And then there we have them. You want to make sure once you're in, in these icons that you will find all the states that you want, in which case we have the field. So now we want to show the outline state. So you can grab a copy of that by going here in this file. Then once it loads, you want to go on the outlined, make sure you select all the outlined icons copy them, paste them inside the file right here above your previous icons. And you want to make sure that these icons are actually master components. So select them. Once you see this icon here, it means that they are master icons. So perfect. In this case, we can go ahead and start adding our icons. So what we want to do first is start from left to right. Let's try and find as similar icons as we can. So let's go with home. In this case, you can see there's various different icons of home. I want to start with the one that has both an outlined and a filled version. So let's start with the outlined version first. I'm going to make everything outlined to begin with to show that, that nothing has been selected. And another thing to point out here is because this is a navigation bar, I want to make the icons maybe a little bit bigger than I've done them before than 24 pixels to show some hierarchy on the page. So I might want to increase the size to 40 here. Perfect. And then we want to go with search. So let's find our search icon. And then again, increase this to 40. Then I want to go with an add icon. So let's search for add. Again, there's various different add icons, but I want to get the outlined version of it. Perfect. Then increase the size to 40. Then I want to get the sort of like play icon. Perfect. I have the play icon here as an outline and I can see that there is a field version of it as well. So it works for my case. And now I want my profile icon as well. In this case, I can see that it might be a bit too big for my use case. So I might want to decrease the size. So what I can do to decrease the size is by creating a variant here. So I'm going to select this profile icon, create a variant and call it small, then reduce the size to 40, adjust the picture within the frame. And perfect, there we have it. It's ready now to be used. So what I can do is go back here and change it to small. Perfect. So I can just select them all, group them, add some auto layout then go for fixed width because I know that I want to be going for 390 as we've seen on the last episode, episode four. So let's make this frame 390 pixels wide. Then I want to make sure I have the right kind of spacing in between them. So it doesn't matter yet what the spacing is as long as they're centered aligned. And then I can just hug the, the height. So as long as I'm making sure that uh, there's a padding from the side, in which case I'm going for 16. And I'm going to go for 16 from the top to bottom as well. Then I can go again and go for space between. And then this equally distributes all the icons across the page. And perfect. There we have the navigation bar. Now what we want to do again is, of course, create this component. Hit here, create component. Make sure we name this as 
navigation bar or just nav bar for short and there we have it so now i want to create the variance right to show the different selected states so what i want to do here is add a variant call this home because it's home selected so what i can do is go here and replace this icon with this one then again i can select another variant then select this search bar here and then make sure i add some kind of circle on this so what i can always do on this one is add a stroke for example and perhaps something like that to show that this has been selected because there is no other ways of showing where this search icon is selected so this is good for me it shows me that this has been selected maybe I, what i can do is increase the stroke to two perfect i can call this variant search then add another variant then i want to make sure that this is the selected one so the add so call this variant add then create another variant then i want to make sure that this is the one that is selected and then I want to make the profile being selected. So what I can do is again, add a stroke, then make the stroke two, and there it is. I have all the selected variants. Let's call this profile. Then I wanna make sure that all the colors are brandless again. So I wanna select the whole thing. I can see here that not everything has been brandless. So I can just, everything everywhere that this color is used which i don't recognize this color at this moment because it's not my brand color that i'm using so what i can do is simply hit zero and then let's change the color for everything and to test this you can see if i go on navigation bar in which case i can see this here just drag and drop it inside you'll be able to see that it changes all the states perfect so I can see here variant five, I probably forgot to change this name. So I can go back and simply change it to play. So now this reflects here. So perfect. I have created my navigation bar with all the different variants, with all the different states that it could be in different possible pages from the major navigation. And yeah, that was it for today. And I hope you enjoyed watching how to quickly create a navigation bar with the different states, different variants to show which page you could be on. And yeah, if you found this video useful and you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more to come. And yeah, again, if you found it useful, please feel free to share around and see you in the next episode.